If you missed part one, you should go back and click on these links that I will link above, or you should watch my first video that I've made, okay? All right, guys, today I will teach you about something I have learned from a chess grandmaster called Maurice Ashley, okay? I first saw him in the chess video a few years back, and then I came across one of his TED Talk videos, and and in his video, he said something that resonated with me for quite a long time. I knew this concept, but then I didn't really take in consideration how important it was until I watched his video. So let's begin. Okay, in this video, he asked a simple problem-solving question, okay? Let's just say you are in a game show, okay? And whoever wins will get a car of their dreams, any car, whatever car you want, okay? It could be a Lambo, Ferrari, whatever, okay? And you are against this opponent, okay? And the game is very simple. You are each dealt a card numbering from one to six, and you and your opponent has the ability to switch cards. And whoever has a larger card wins, okay? So the question is, do you switch? And during this game, you draw your card, and you looked at it, and you're like, Huh, I've never been so unlucky in my life. You drew a two. Okay, that's a pretty small card. And in your mind, you're just rambling like, Oh my god, how can I ever be so unlucky, right? And you start uh, hating on life. Maybe you should have drew the other card, and you're like wondering all these sorts of things, right? And then suddenly, your opponent looks at you, and he goes like, I want to switch cards. So the question now becomes, do you switch? You are so excited, but do you switch? Now pause this video and think about it, okay? Okay, so let's work on a solution now. There is one key concept that will help you solve this problem. This is a very important concept, so listen well. This concept is learning how to work backwards, okay? the power of working backwards. So let's change our perspective and look at this game again. If your opponent has a six, would he switch? No. <laughs> if he had a five and he wants to switch, would he ask? No, because he knows that if you have a six, you would not switch. So in, in that case, he would not ask, right? Let's say he has a four, would he ask? Judging by if he had a five, you wouldn't ask, and if he had a six, you wouldn't ask, or you wouldn't switch, would you do it? No. So there's no point of him asking if he has a four. Now let's rinse and repeat all the way down the numbers, okay? And soon you will figure out that there is only one possibility when someone will ask to switch. And the one possibility is that he has a one. And he's just hoping, Hail Mary, that you are dumb and are willing to switch. So if you think about this question this way, you will know the clear answer is you do not want to switch, even though you have a two, all right? So we took a problem that may seem difficult at first, but if you look backwards and you break down each step one by one, you will quickly figure out that the answer is pretty simple, right? What I'm trying to get at is in order to figure out what you need to do in life, you need to think backwards, okay? For example, let's go forward in time till when you're 80. You need to think about this person when you're 80, what kind of experience and what kind of accomplishments does he or she wants to accomplish by that age? Some people may want to have a nice family, some people want a nice career, some people want to travel, etc. They want to travel the world by the time they're 80. They want to start a business by the time they're 80 or be successful by the time they're 80. For example, let's say your goal is to make a lot of money. You want to have a high income. But first, we need to define what is high income. So what is a lot of money, right? Is it 50K a year to you? Is it 100K, 150? 200k, perhaps 300k, 500k, even a million. What does it mean to you? This is important because 
if you think about it, if you want to make 100k a year to 150, you can just become an engineer. You just study hard at school, find a job. Well, it might not be that easy to find a job, but if you find a job, you can make that money. You can see the path to that goal. You go to school, you find an internship, or you work, etc. Right? However, if you want to make 500,000 to a million dollar a year, the steps needed are completely different. It's a completely different ball game, right? Do you even need to go to school? What do you need to learn? Who do you need to meet? It's a completely different ball game, right? Every single thing you need to do is completely different. Uh, you need to have a different set of skills. You maybe need to choose a different industry, right? You need some money. There's, everything is different, right? Even the people you meet, everything is different. How so? It's because if you're an engineer, and let's say you make 200K a year, right? Pretty good, pretty good as an engineer. In order to go from 200K to 500K, it's completely different. Why? Because you cannot simply just work twice the hour or three times the hour because let's say you work already 40 hours, 60 hours a week. You can maybe work 80 to 100 hours a week, but there's a limit, right? And this limit is time. Everybody has the same amount of time, okay? So you need to figure out what exactly is your goal and work backwards, right? And you need to figure out what you need to do specifically step by step in order to reach that goal because we are all limited by time. Everyone has the same amount of time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A rich person does not have more time with you. So as an entrepreneur, the first thing I learned quickly is that my biggest asset and my biggest constraint is time. So if you want to make a million dollars or more, there are three things that is a must that you need to learn in order to accomplish this. I will talk about these things in a future video and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's insightful for you. So please like, subscribe, and comment below if this video was helpful and let me know any feedback. So I look forward in seeing you guys in my next video. See ya!